as you know, guys know, we record these and Ryan posts them. And we always remember as we began uh, the worship, public worship of the Lord, our brothers are commanded to lead and our sister is commanded to be led. We want to show the angels who watch, we'll talk more about that, that we are grace believers who believe in the structure and order of the local assembly. So we thank you for that. Uh, today is Sunday, the 7th of May, 2017. A couple of announcements. Always thanking the Lord for his marvelous grace. Pray for your brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, Sister Doty's going to go have a, a surgery for, for her leg. You can ask her about it. She didn't want to do it publicly, but we want to be in prayer for our sister. Uh, simple. Simple. You said you're going to do something with your vein? Okay, but we, we think about you. I took seniors to the hospital every day for five years. With, with seniors, something simple could be a mess. So we'll be in prayer for you, okay? But thank you. She's so humble. She doesn't even want. But that's why we pray for one another as brothers and sisters in Christ. Also pray for your civil authorities so that we can lead a quiet, a peaceful life in all godliness. We got Minnesota visitors, uh, dear brother Tim and his wife Chrissy, and their children are visiting. They won't be able to come on a Sunday. They got limited time here. But if you want to meet with them on July 7th, it's a Friday, and they're going to be in town here in Sacramento area. And we're going to have lunch. But they want as many as the saints who could be there to be there. Don't feel obligated, but if you can make it. Dodie, you were, you were mentioned. Denise, if, if you and Jim like to come, obviously, Mother, anybody. Uh, I'll give you guys more information as I talk to Tim. But that's July the 7th. I think that's a Friday. They'll be here. Okay. So if you can make it around lunch hour, they'd love to meet you guys. Uh, but they mentioned Ryan and, and Dodie. And, and so if you can make it, do it. Unfortunately, they, they have to leave out. Friday evening or Saturday morning go back to Minnesota. Krista mentioned this, since the weather is getting better and before it gets too hot, if we can have, we try to get out and have a little fellowship meal outdoors, probably want to do it within the next month or so before it gets really, really hot, even though May does get hot, and just have it outdoor at a park, maybe Car Carmichael Park, like we did, and we get out and, uh, oh yeah, where's Fernando? Oh, Fernando. Last time we, we talked to your, to your mother, right, and some others in Spanish. That was really nice. So we, we want to do that again. So be thinking about it. Uh, we'll try to come, come with a, a Sunday to do that, and we look forward to getting out there. Q&A, we'll have our Q&A, and then we'll have the Facebook Live. And written offering, you guys know the drill. People ask how they can get back. Pray for us. We always covet prayers, and you can give back online right there at our YouTube channel as well. Always reminded, I gave Dodie a picture from four years ago, our little Jada Lynn's growing up. On uh, May 16th, which is a week from Tuesday, she'll be eight years old. And I remember, the, I remember literally her coming out of her mother's matrix, okay, coming out the womb. And every, every year uh, around this time, we get sentimental. But we found uh, her fourth birthday, you, Dodie was there, and Chad. So uh, Dodie's been with us about five years. That time went by real fast. But, um, uh, I, I, I just want to say uh, thank you to the Lord for my little girl. She took a tumble on Monday. She fell on her bike. I was talking to Jim about it. The little children, when they're about to fall going down hills, they, they do this. They panic, and she hit her face. So she was all busted up. It's healed up a little bit more in six days, but, and she got a little haircut, too, her little curls cut down for the summer. I just want to remind you guys that we like to share these are correspondence or feedback we get for the ministry. I heard from someone from Elkhart, Indiana. Mesquite, Texas. This is another one, uh, brother. This is a brother from Cameroon. We were going to send some Bibles over to so King James Bibles, and we're still working that out. He's got in contact with some people over in Cameroon. He says, thank you so much. I will call them on Monday to let you know. So he made email contact with this group. Do pray also for our English speaking partner part of Cameroon. OK, so he's talking about the Cameroon that, where they speak English pr primarily. Internet has. Been, so this is something to pray about. His name is Tay, uh, T-E-H, he's African, T-E-H. And every time I try to write his name in an email, it, it auto-corrects to the. And even when he sends it, but his name is Tay, and the thing never lets me just send it like that. It, it corrects it like this. And it, so it's got this little red line, so that him and I, we both, we can't put T-E-H because the thing auto-corrects us. Anyway, that's technology for you. It'll stay that way? It'll stay that way. Okay, maybe we need to do that and then. then. You can back up and go to the smaller Okay, one. then we need to do that because mine goes that way. On the computer, if you right click it and put add the dictionary, it'll do that. Okay, that's yeah, what I need to do. I'll do that. That's even better. 
So, because when he sends it to me, it comes over the, and I send it him as the, but his name is Tay, <laughs> T-E-H. Um, anyway, he says, the internet has been cut off for more than 70 days because the minority Anglophone part, he talks about there's some protesting stuff. He, he, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a yeah, country, a lot of political unrest, as you know, in parts of, of Africa like that. Anyway, he says, I do, now get this, I do travel five hours on a bus before I get access to an internet, access to internet. He has to travel five hours to get, we take it for granted. I could literally, I literally pull out my phone and do the Facebook Live, internet, boom. He has to travel in the, in the Cameroon like that. See, we're blessed over here in our country. Now, this is going to be encouraging for you guys, but also Ryan posts these as well in announcements. Here it is. Hello, Brother Ron. Great to hear from you again. No worries, because he had a question, and I got back to him when I could. I know you're very busy uh, doing great work for the Grace Message. I saw an introduction video on the Facebook Live Q&A and on the NorCal YouTube channel. Ryan posts them on there. I managed to catch both recorded videos for the past couple of weeks, and they have been very edifying. So even if you can't watch it live, we, we post them. Ryan posts them on YouTube. Going by the time the videos were posted on Facebook, it's roughly around 11 p.m. in the UK. That's right. This guy, um, this is a brother from the UK. I, I really appreciate you answering my questions this Sunday. This is a real blessing. Thank you. In fact, the timing of this email from you today couldn't be better and has really made my day. I had to part, okay, check this out. I had to part company with my denominational Baptist church this evening. He's learning right division. He was attending a Baptist church, but it had, the doctrine has been butting up against Paul's gospel, okay? I went from my normal one to a Bible study, uh, which was regarding churches in the New Testament and church membership. Unfortunately, this study was teaching that church membership was by water baptism, and the verses being used to prove this were from Acts 2. See, they didn't rightly divide. They're trying to sh show that you need to be water baptized using Acts 2 before Paul. Now, he says, now for the first time, me and my pastor strongly disagreed. Okay. Not just on this issue, but the main issue we've been debating for weeks, which is salvation. Oh, salvation in the Old Testament compared to now, present, and in the future. So they've been having a discussion about salvation in the Old Testament versus now and in the future. Okay. He fails to make a distinction between the prophecy and mystery programs. He fails to rightly divide and states that salvation has always been the same, grace through faith throughout the whole Bible. And then he adds, which is absurd. That's right. Our brother's getting it. There you go. I know I've only been saved a very short time, and I still have a lot of learning to do, but I put a lot of time into studying the Bible and watching the videos in the grace message. In the end, he, his pastor, was very arrogant. Usually you're going to run into that, okay? And stated that he will not change his teachings no matter what. And he puts that like that. Wow. Can you imagine a pastor says, I'll never change my teaching? That's so sad. Because what if you're a pastor for another 10 years? Don't you going to grow and learn? It's crazy. Don't confuse me with the facts. Exactly, okay? This is interesting. So this is real life. Uh, he was unwilling to reason from the scriptures, which is the opposite of what God tells us to do, right? and actually made fun of me for being a dispensationalist. Par for the course. Par for the course. He's, he's, he's experienced the sufferings of Christ. Here we go. It was at this point I had to leave, and although it was unpleasant to be made fun of, I felt great sorrow for him because I know he'll have to answer to Christ for this at the judgment. See, that he's getting the judgment seat of Christ. I would just like to say a big thank you again for getting in touch today. I'll definitely be tuned in this Sunday for the live Q&A. May God continue to bless you and the ministry there. Grace and peace. This is Brother Alex. I just wanted to share that. This is the effect we have on people from around the world. This brother's in the UK, okay? His name is Alex. This tells you what people have to go through as they learn the grace message and they have to eventually leave their denominational church, which many of us have had to do, right? You learn right division. I just want to start each Sunday with an encouraging just encourage you guys and see that we're not alone and we're helping people on the other side of the world. That it's exactly. What'd you say, Ryan? Say once you learn right division, your old church will invite you to leave. Yep, that's what it, that's what happens. If you start to talk to the pastor about this truth, you'll experience most likely what this brother experienced. Because it's hard for a pastor to be told, you know, I'm the pastor. No, 
And, and if your pastor doesn't see himself as your brother on equal par with you, you'll never get anywhere. And if he's not a student first. And got to be a student, exactly. First word, right heart, a student, and see himself not as above you, but in fact, esteem other better than yourself. Anyway, so, oh, sure they do. And that's the religious system.